What's going on everybody? In this tutorial, we're gonna be covering color matching, different camera footage, and also making certain food dishes pop so that they look extra delicious. So when it comes to our footage and dealing with different cameras and different lighting setups and food, I think coloring is really important, but Adobe Premiere Pro makes it super, super easy now with the auto color match and the comparison view right here. We have footage from two different cameras. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the comparison view. It's gonna put these two clips side by side so that I'm gonna actually be able to compare them visually right there and make manual adjustments or use the auto color match button just to automatically do it for me. I can scroll through the entire video on this other side screen and pick one of these stills that I want it to match with. I think what's really cool is right off the bat, I can just click this apply match. Literally, that's all I have to do. And it already matched the color to the clip before. When did they make this sorcery available, <laughs> man? You can, if you want to make your own adjustments, you can actually go in and make your own little tweaks if you want, but I think that's good. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Here we have from the same camera, David, it's more blue, a little bit more white. It's a cooler temperature here. So what, what still should we match it up with? What, what makes sense? Why not right here? Right here? Yeah. All right, how easy is this? Oh! Ah! All right, so I would say it did a pretty good job. I think for some clips, it's gonna match it pretty much perfectly and you can't do it any better. And then for some clips, you can even go in and adjust it yourself with the curves and the basic color correction. All right, so another little trick that we sometimes do on our videos is to highlight and kind of boost the color of certain dishes. Now, they're gonna do this in professional television, but we're gonna do it for our digital stuff as well because you wanna make sure that the food looks extra appetizing, visually stimulating to the audience's yeah. eyeballs. I, th I think the goal is to have that one shot where people look at it and they're like, oh, I want that. And that's what we're gonna try to do here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into uh, my color tab and then I'm gonna go into the Lumetri color. And then what I'm gonna actually be doing is I'm gonna be isolating each color that's on the screen by using these two uh, enter and exit points and just putting the two points in, isolating the color, and then just pulling it up. Well, I'm gonna go into Hue Sat, and I'm gonna see these lines here. So I'm gonna make the enter and exit point, and I'm gonna isolate that purple color, bring that up, and then I'm gonna isolate kind of the orange red, and then bring that up too. So I thought this shot was also a little bit too dark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with the exposure and the contrast just a little bit and tweak that just to make sure this B-roll shot is beautiful. See, and now I'm looking at this like this even looks more appetizing. This honestly looks like I took it through Photoshop or Lightroom and we just colored it all and now it just looks like professional grade without the professional skills. Delicious.